Hi, I'm Kastutis and in this video I'm going to review the all-in-one SEO WordPress plugin. I'll review its key features, plans and pricing, and pros and cons. After that, I'll show you how to set it up and use it. Let's get started. There are currently over 1000 SEO plugins in the WordPress plugin directory, and that's obviously an overwhelming number of options. Finding an SEO plugin that suits your needs might be challenging. So here I'll go over All-in-One SEO, also known as AEO SEO, one of the best SEO plugins in the industry. All-in-One SEO is a WordPress plugin that offers a comprehensive, user-friendly SEO toolkit to improve your website's search rankings. This plugin is one of the most popular SEO plugins in the market with more than 3 million active installations. If you're using Hostinger as your hosting provider, it's available by default on your WordPress installation. Search engine optimization is an ongoing task. Your site competes with tons of other websites every day for that first position or at least a place on the first page of the search results. Remember that the higher your site rank, the stronger the possibility of potential customers finding your business. More traffic will ultimately lead to more conversions and sales. And that's essentially everyone's business goal, isn't it? That's where you need an SEO plugin to help boost your organic traffic. It helps optimize your site content, making it search engine friendly, and increasing its chances of ranking high. Also, search engines like Google and Safari are continuously updating their algorithms. Keeping up with the updates yourself can be very time consuming. If you use an SEO plugin, you don't have to worry about that because the recommendations that the plugin provides will always follow the latest SEO trends and practices. This plugin comes with a setup wizard, making it easier to start using it right off the bat. You just have to follow the plugin's prompts and you'll be good to go in under 10 minutes. The wizard will ask you for your site details, like a category that best describes it, homepage title, and social profiles. Then, it will ask you to select the SEO features you want to enable on the site. The options will differ for free and premium plan users, and I'll show you how to set them up later in the video. All-in-One SEO has the true SEO on-page analysis, which, as its name suggests, is an on-page optimization tool. This feature provides an actionable checklist to improve your posts and pages SEO. Once you install the plugin, you'll see that below any of your posts, there's a list of SEO suggestions, including the post title, meta description, and focus key phrase. You can also check the page analysis and see whether it's already up to standard or if there are still some elements you need to improve. Like here, you can see that my blog post is already up to the standard, the meta description length, content length, and the internal and external links. It appears that my title is over 60 characters. I'll tweak my title a bit and that's it, all green now. You can also check your post's readability score, which covers aspects like paragraphs length, sentences length, the use of passive voice, and subheading distribution. All-in-one SEO also analyzes your post's flash reading ease which measures the readability of your text with a score between 0 and 100. 90 to 100 means that your text is very easy to read, in a way that an average 11-year-old student can easily understand. Meanwhile, if your score is from 30 to 50, that means your text is difficult to read, in a way that it might be best understood by college graduates. You'll need to adjust that to suit your target audience. Let's move to the next feature. Search Appearance. In this section, we can adjust the global settings for the site titles, meta descriptions, and other metadata that search engines display as your site's details. You can also set the schema markup to provide information that search engines can use as rich snippets. For example, when you look for a recipe, you'll see that some websites display the cooking duration, calorie count, and ratings. That's thanks to the schema markup. It helps search engines understand what type of content your post is. For example, an article, a recipe, a product, or a course. 
you can specify it even further. Selecting article, you can choose if it's a blog post or a news article. And it's also possible to add different schema markups for different posts or pages. So if you have news articles, recipes and products all on the same website, you can change them individually. Also, with search appearance, you can fine-tune your site's taxonomies, archives and image SEO. Note that the image SEO feature is only available for users of the premium plans. If you run a WooCommerce site, you can also optimize your storefront so search engines can easily index and rank your products. With the WooCommerce SEO feature, you can optimize your product titles, product meta descriptions and product images. You can apply the settings site-wide or individually for each product and category to maximize the rankings opportunities. The local SEO feature helps rank your business in local search results and on Google Maps. Use it to add information that people might want to know when they're about to visit your business, such as its address, business hours, available payment methods, and contact details. The Social Networks menu lets you see how your posts will look on various social media platforms, like Facebook and Twitter. It's also where you can add social media URLs linked to your business. In the case of Facebook, this plugin also makes it possible for you to integrate your site with Facebook Insights. This way you get additional information about your business's post performance and user behavior on Facebook. Internal and external links are among the most crucial ranking factors. The Link Assistant feature will show you the links used on your post at a glance, giving you insights into their performance. Then you can adjust your link building strategy based on that. An XML sitemap is a map of all your website's content. Search engines use it to better crawl and index your site. All-in-one SEO sitemap automatically generates XML, RSS, and HTML sitemaps. Google mainly uses the XML version, but other search engines often look at the RSS sitemaps too, so you don't want to miss on that. Simply click on the Open Sitemap button to find the list of sitemaps. You'll see different sitemaps for posts, pages, and categories. If you have a WooCommerce store or videos, they'll have their own sitemaps too. This setting helps you ensure that all of your posts and pages are indexed properly and that they're always up to date. It's also possible to customize the sitemap settings without any coding knowledge. You can remove non-indexed content to eliminate errors in Google Search Console or reduce keyword cannibalization by excluding posts or pages that are no longer relevant. If you have news content on your website, All-in-One SEO offers an option to submit your articles to Google News Feed. It will also automatically notify search engines when you publish news articles. The Competitor Analysis feature helps you check your competitor's performance. Simply enter the competitor's URL and All-in-One SEO will show its SEO audit score. From there, you can take inspiration from what they did right and learn from what they can improve. The SEO audit feature analyzes the SEO performance of your entire site, scoring it up to 100. A good score lies between 60 to 80, but for best results, it recommends reaching 70 or above. The feature detects any critical issues that may harm your site's SEO performance, along with detailed instructions on how to fix those problems. It also provides actionable recommendations to improve the site's speed and performance. And it shows you what went well so you can replicate the strategy in the future. All-in-One SEO plugin offers 5 plans a free plan and four paid plans. The free version comes with limited support and features, but it's sufficient for personal websites, sites with low traffic, or for optimizing one website only. Meanwhile, the premium plans reach from the basic plan, available at $49.50 per year and limited to a single website, to the elite plan, costing $299.50 per year and which can be used on up to 100 websites. The basic plan best suits personal websites that want to step up their SEO game, while the elite plan is ideal for businesses and agencies. Now that we've walked through its key features, let's talk about all-in-one SEO's pros and cons compared to other SEO plugins in the market. Let's start with the pros. 
First, it has a comprehensive and easy to use set of features. You don't need a background in SEO or coding to start optimizing your site. Also, many options have their own help icons, which will show short descriptions of what each one does. Some help icons even have a link to a relevant help page. Second, it has a feature to compare your site to its competitors. Knowing your competitor's SEO audit score can give you insights on what you should at least match. Even better, it shows you how to exceed their site performance. Third, the sitemap feature offers various options, like the video and WooCommerce store sitemaps to help search engines better index your site. However, there's still room for improvement. For example, it would be better if the user interface hid the paid features when using the free plan, to make it less cluttered. Even though it's a great way to get users interested in the paid plans, it takes up significant space in the interface. Now that you know the features, plans, and pros and cons of the all-in-one SEO plugin, it's time to set it up. Note that if you use Hostinger, the free plugin comes pre-installed and activated, so you can skip these steps. First, head to the WordPress dashboard and then the plugins directory. Search for AEO SEO. Install and activate the plugin. Then you'll see the setup wizard. You can start with the free plugin, but if you want more powerful SEO features at your disposal, go with the premium version. To install a premium version, go to aeoseo.com. Once you're in, create an account. Go to the Downloads tab to download the premium version and don't forget to copy the license key while you're there. After that, head back to your WordPress dashboard. We're going to directly upload the zip file of the premium plugin that you just downloaded. So, click the Upload Plugin button. Choose File, navigate to the Download Zip file and click Install Now. Once it's installed, hit the Activate Plugin button. It will then direct you to the Setup Wizard. You have now arrived at the Setup Wizard window. Proceed by clicking on the Let's Get Started button. This will help you configure your site settings, even if you have little to no experience with SEO. The wizard consists of six easy steps. The first asks you to choose a category that best describes your website. This helps the plugin narrow down the SEO options and offer what works best for your site. Then, under the Homepage Title section, you can specify the name of your site's homepage on the search results page. For example, if you include separator and tagline here, your homepage title will appear like this. On the Homepage Meta Description section, you can briefly explain what your site is about, or simply add the site's tagline. It's up to you. Click Save and continue to proceed to the second step. Now we'll continue by adding additional site information. First, specify whether your site represents a person or an organization. If your site represents an individual, enter the person's name and upload their image as the default social share image. If your site represents an organization, there are more details you can add. That includes the organization name, logo, social share image, contact number, and you can even specify what type of contact that is. Then there's a social profile section. Link all your social networks here. If you have the same username for all or some of your social media handles, you can speed up the process by ticking this checkbox, then selecting the platforms, and afterwards entering the username in the Your Username field. The URL fields below will automatically be filled with that username. Continue to the third step by clicking the Save and Continue button. The third step will ask you which SEO features you want to enable. You'll see some checkboxes are already ticked, as the plugin already selected some features based on your site category. For example, sitemaps, optimized search appearance, and analytics are enabled by default. In this step, you'll also see some features have pro labels beside them which means that they're only available for premium users. You can upgrade your plan to use that particular feature in your SEO strategy. If you're already using a premium plan, you can take all the listed features or choose only the ones you need. Let's move on to step 4. That's where we'll customize the way that site is displayed in search results. There's a Google snippet preview where you can tweak the title and description. Even though the name is Google Snippet, note that it's not the same as the rich snippet that appears on the first position of the search engine results page. 
In this case is the term that AEO SEO uses to refer to the portion of the search results page that displays your site name and description. Next, select whether your site is under development or maintenance or if your site is ready to go live and be indexed. You can choose to enable all post types and let's enable the sitemap here. Then if you have multiple authors contributing to your site, select yes. If it's just you, then simply choose no. Now the plugin asks if you want to redirect the attachment pages. I recommend choosing yes. This is because, by default, whenever you upload media files like images or PDFs, WordPress will add them to your media library and create attachment pages for each one of them. This will be an issue if you have many media files on your site, because then you'll have too many attachment pages indexed in search engines. These pages don't provide any value to site visitors and can hurt your SEO ranking. That's why it's better to always redirect the attachment pages. So I'm clicking yes. In this step, if you have purchased the pro version of this plugin, it's time to enter the license key and click connect. If you use the free version, proceed by clicking skip this step. And that's all. You'll see a message saying that your SEO setup is now ready. If you want to learn more about AEO SEO, you can read its documentation. Or continue by clicking finish setup and go to the dashboard. By the way, if you're switching from another SEO plugin, you can use the AEO SEO import feature to import the data from the previous plugin. But remember that since each plugin has its own different way of handling SEO, some settings may not be used by all-in-one SEO. Now it's time for me to show you how to use all-in-one SEO and optimize your content on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's take one of my posts as an example. Inside the post editor, scroll all the way down to find the AEO SEO settings. There, under the general tab, you can see the snippet preview. It's how this post will look like on search engine results pages. You can include or exclude any variables from the title. For example, if you want to use just the post title, you can delete the site title and separator from this field. The maximum number of characters recommended for the title is 60, so take that into consideration. For the meta description, you can use a post excerpt or write it yourself. Tell what this post is about using the recommended length of 160 characters. Then add the focus key phrase into the corresponding field and click this button. The plugin will assess how you use the focus key phrase in the post. For example, my results include focus key phrase in SEO title, checked as green because I used the focus key phrase in the SEO title, but focus key phrase in meta description has a red cross beside it. Expand the arrow and you'll see a remark that says focus key phrase not found in the meta description. Let's fix that by adding the focus key phrase in the meta description. See, now the icon has turned green and the focus key phrase score has increased. The goal is to make all these points green. Then let's check the page analysis section. This section consists of three elements, basic SEO, title, and readability. We went through it briefly when talking about the features, so now we only need to check if there's anything to fix. I found some error notifications here. So let's go through all the listed items, find the ones marked with red icons, and follow the suggestions to improve them. Once you have updated everything under the general tab, move to the social tab. There you can see a preview of how the post will look like when shared on Facebook and Twitter. Moving on to the schema tab, which we also discussed earlier, we can specify this post schema type by choosing an option from the drop down menu. While optimizing your post, you can always check the top right part of the post editor, where the headline analyzer and true SEO scores are located. They assess your headline and post content and provide suggestions on how you can fix any of the existing issues to improve the post score. You don't have to always get 100, but try to make these two buttons green to achieve the best SEO performance. There you go! We've covered all-in-one SEO's features, pros and cons, how to set it up, and how to use it on your WordPress site. Its user-friendliness makes it clear why there are millions of people actively using this plugin to optimize their websites. Considering its comprehensive features, I recommend exploring this plugin further, as there are more specific and advanced tools to help you maximize your SEO strategy along the way. 
Drop a comment below if you have any questions or want to share your experience using the all-in-one SEO plugin. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Hosting Your Academy for more web hosting related content. And until next time, I wish you best of luck in your online journey.